Welcome to Australia. The name for this beautiful subcontinent is derived from the aboriginal word for land of the rising sun. And like Icarus, if you fly too close to this large island of sun, you may plummet down into a rabbit hole of strange creatures that inhabit these lands. Among these animals, a true enigma thrives in the outback. The kangaroo, also known as Macropodidae, which means as much as large foot in Latin. These may be the most famous animal native to the red outback, but they are also the animal that the general population knows the least about. First of all, kangaroos produce through pathogenesis. This means that they can make baby joeys without needing a mate. All kangaroos are in fact female. The epithel cells inside their pouches can form stem cells through a process which currently still baffles the scientific community. These stem cells can grow into a fetus, which can grow and become a genetic clone of the mother. A fun fact is that kangaroos are the only vertebrate animal with an uneven number of chromosomes. Kangaroos are perfectly adapted to the harsh climates of the land down under. They use their big legs to jump in order to waste as little energy as possible whilst traversing the land in search of food. Once they've found plants to graze on, they can either eat the plants or store it in their pouch for later. Kangaroos use their big tails to store fat and protein. But because of their small stomachs, they cannot eat much food in one go. The reason why their stomachs are so small is because a large portion of their torso is used by its specialized lungs. These lungs don't breathe oxygen. They absorb nitrogen gas out of the sky. Kangaroos use this gas to perform chemosynthesis and build up the fat and amino acids in their tail, which is turned into water and energy. This allows these animals to survive underground when the temperatures get too high without having to worry about breathing. It was even found that kangaroos can survive their entire adult life underwater. The Reykjavik Zoo in Iceland houses their kangaroos in aquariums, since the temperature of water is more easily maintained than that of air. On rare occasions, these mammals have been spotted on the bottom of the Great Barrier Reef. All of these facts have convinced some researchers that kangaroos are in fact not from this world, but hail from the stars. The aboriginals, the native population of Australia, were coined for inventing the word joey. The name is in fact a westernized form of the word joey day, which means as much as star hopper. It's believed that when people first came to Australia, there were no kangaroos yet. Those only arrived after the invention of fire. Follow us to watch the next episode, in which we will talk about the war between kangaroos and grass. Now fire was used as a super weapon, which scarred the lands and turned them into oceans of red sand.